Talking about this first alert weather day, Annalise Parks joining us again. Uh, and Annalise, you said uh, it was gonna, it's going to feel a little worse today than it did even yesterday. A little bit worse, yeah. So yesterday, Ken, was our ninth consecutive 100 degree wow. day. After today, we'll have 10. Uh, just to give you a little perspective on all this heat, this time yesterday, or yesterday, this time last summer, let's go back a year, we had not seen any 100 degree days, which is just wild to think about considering where we are right now. Uh, and by the end of the summer last year, Year, we had a total of only eight. By the way, we didn't start to see those 100 degree days until the very end of July. So we are way ahead of schedule. All of that to say we're on pace to easily see an above average summer as far as triple digit heat is concerned because we've already had 18 days of 100 degrees plus 20 would be average. And of course, we've got over a month and a half left of summer here in North Texas. So taking a live look over UNT's campus, blue sky, not much in the way of cloud cover, so not much in the way of uh, blocking that heat. We're going to get up to about 104 today. That would be a couple degrees hotter than yesterday, and your feels like temperatures probably just at or above 105, which is why that heat advisory remains and why we've had our first alert weather day. Now, moving on through the next couple of days, I do expect numbers to kind of stay in check, uh, so that's some good news. By Thursday, we should be certainly well below that heat advisory criteria. Let's take a look at what's happening. No big issues today as far as uh, any cloud cover or any wet weather, but tomorrow there's a shot of some rain. So we desperately need rain as we continue with widespread drought. And here comes a very weak front during the afternoon tomorrow. It'll continue to push closer to the Metroplex. I think by 2, 3, 4 o'clock, let's keep an eye on radar because we'll be watching from around I-20 and especially south for that shot to see some isolated storms. What those storms would provide, just some brief heavy downpours. Of course, you would get some uh, relief from the heat briefly, and then those clouds will hurt, certainly help our temperatures to stay in check. So thinking right now, the, the main area is going to be Metroplex and South. If you get a little bit closer to Waco, you've got a better shot of rain for tomorrow. Fingers crossed. We all desperately need that rain. No rain today, though. 94, feeling like 100 already. Winds out of the north, uh, about 10 miles an hour. That dew point right now, 70, so it's really humid. Not going to be quite as humid this afternoon, but the temperature alone is tough to take. The good news, Ken, this is the hottest day in our seven-day forecast. You'll notice yes. 98 next Monday. Oh, boy. Yeah, I, I've never wanted to get to a Monday as quickly as that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring on Monday, right? Annalise, thank you. The extreme